All right, so this is the week one, day one, age group blue dry land workout. Uh, we're gonna start off with a little bit of active stretching. So all I want you guys to do is you can do some arm circles forward, start off with big circles, and then you can get smaller gradually, and you're gonna do the same thing backwards, small backwards arm circles, gradually getting larger. Um, keep your thumbs up towards the ceiling while you do this. Next up, after you guys go through that, take about you know 30 seconds to do that part. You're gonna go to leg swings. So all you can do need to do is find a spot on the wall. You can put your hand there to rest, and you're just gonna swing your legs side to side, forward and backwards. You can do some circles, loosen up the hips a little bit and then do the other side. Take about 30 seconds for that. Um, as we go through this, feel free to you know pause in between the exercises to actually perform them all the way through. Uh, let's see here. After that, you're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping, jumping jacks, so that's pretty basic. I'm just gonna look like that, about 30 seconds. Next up, for our first set, we have five V-ups. So when you do a V-up, you're going to be laying down on your back. You can put your hands behind your head, even go in a streamlined position. And when you're about to do the movement, you're going to lift your feet up straight towards the ceiling and then bring your hands and touch your fingertips to your toes. Just in the shape of a V. You're going to do five of those. Then 10 seconds after you complete those first five, you're going to move into 15 bodyweight squats. Um, in between each exercise, take about 10, 15 seconds, whatever you guys need. The purpose of this first workout really isn't to kill you. It's more so just getting familiar with the proper way to do the movements. So 15 bodyweight squats, when you do a squat, you want your ankles, knees, hips, shoulders all in a line, feet about shoulder width apart, and you're going to sit back on your heels to about a 90 degree angle. So you want to come down, get that 90 degree angle, and then you can come right back up. After that, you'll take your 10 to 15 seconds and we're going to go move into star crunches, so an abs exercise again. <clears throat> You're going to be lying on your back, make your, put your arms and legs out to the side, and you're going to come up and down and come back up. And you're just going to keep moving like that. Make sure you use your core to lift yourself up. Don't be, you know, doing anything like this where you're kind of throwing your body. Simply use your core. Then 10 seconds after that, you take your rest and you're gonna do a 30 second wall sit, which is basically, you're gonna find a wall, you're gonna come down to that 90 degrees, just like we are in our squatting position. You're gonna have your shoulders back, nice good posture, and you're just gonna hang out here for about 30 seconds, squeezing your legs and butt while you do that. Um, you're gonna repeat that whole set three times Take, you know, as much time as you need, 30 seconds or so in between sets, 10 seconds in between exercises. So we keep our heart rates up a little bit. Let's see what's next here. All right. So the second round or the second set on this workout, we've got 15 leg raises, 10 hip bridges, and one 30 second perfect plank. You're going to repeat that sequence three times with about 30 seconds of rest in between each round. This one's going to be a little bit shorter than the previous set, but we'll get started. So for leg raises, you're going to be lying down on the floor again. Um, yoga mats are great for this stuff if you don't have carpeting in your home, but either way, we're going to be laying down. You can either have your hands here or sitting on your hands. Sitting on your hands while you do this movement typically makes it a little bit easier. 
but if you'd like, you can have your hands out here for an extra challenge. So, all we're going to do is lie down on our backs, and when you're ready to start, you're just going to point your toes out that way. You're going to lift your legs until they're straight up in the air and back down. When you come back down, please don't do this, okay? Keep control of your legs the entire time using your core. So you're going to lift up, straight up towards the ceiling, and then back down. Don't let your feet touch the floor. That's the hardest part about this is keeping your feet from just slamming right back down onto the floor. You're going to be doing, let me check my list here, 15 of those, and then we're going to move on to 10 hit bridges. So you're going to be laying down on your back again. You're going to have your feet uh, right about underneath your knees, hands down here. And all you're going to do is press your hips up towards the ceiling, squeezing your butt the whole time. Once you get your hips up, you're going to hold it for about one or two seconds and then slowly come back down. So you're going to be here, hold it, and slowly come back down. Again, don't let your hips just slam onto the floor. Keep yourself under control the entire time. Take your 15 sec 10 to 15 second break after that. And the final exercise in this set is just going to be a perfect upright hand plank. Um, I like to do these a lot when we did dry land at the schools. So swimmers, you guys should be fairly familiar with this. So you're gonna go down to your hands and knees. I want your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Don't lean way far back. I want your shoulders right above your hands here. So you're gonna get in that position. You're gonna stick your legs out and you're just gonna hold. Okay, squeeze your core, squeeze your uh, hamstrings, everything, keep everything nice and tight, stay nice and still, I don't want to see you guys do anything like this, or butts in the air, or leaning one way or the other, try and stay nice and still, taking slow deep breaths, kind of bringing down your heart rate a little bit at the end of the set. Um, after that... So you're going to go through that sequence three times, take about 30 seconds rest in between sets, 10 seconds rest in between exercises. And all this stuff is in the email as well. Uh, after that, for our breaststrokers specifically, we're going to do some hips work, but I encourage all of you guys to do this. Um, it can be a little uncomfortable on your hips. It's going to burn a little bit, but it actually does a nice job at opening them up. So you're going to get on your side, you want your knee in line with your hips, in line with your shoulders so you're in a nice straight line, and all you're going to do is lift your leg up. We're going to go 10 up and down, then we're going to go 10 forward circles, and then we're going to go 10 backward circles. And then we're going to flip over to our left side and do the exact same thing. So I'll demonstrate it one more time. You're going to lay down on your side, knee in line with hips, in lines with shoulder, in line with your shoulder, excuse me, and you're simply going to lift your leg up and down. If you feel like doing this at the end of the workout and you're still not tired, you want to get a little bit more in, arm up in the air, lift up your hips, and do it in a side plank position. So circles, forward, backwards, up and down. And that should start to burn by the end. Finally, we're going to be doing our cool down stretches. So I take at least five, 10 minutes and do this. Um, I talked about how important I think it is to cool down in the email. I don't have my muscle roller around, so I'm just going to go over some stretches. Uh, so since we worked our hips and legs, one of my favorite things to do for that is uh, knee hugs. So you're going to bring one leg over the other knee and you're just going to squeeze your knee and kind of lean into it and you should feel a stretch right along here. 
So just kind of lean into that, feel that stretch. Hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. After you have that 15 to 20 seconds, release slowly. Don't, you know, fling your leg out, you know, keep it under control. Switch to the next leg, grab that knee, hug, and lean into the stretch. And while you do this, make sure that you're taking nice, slow, deep breaths. This is the end of the workout. It's time to bring your heart rate down. So in through your nose, hold for a second, exhale fully out your mouth. Um, some other stretches we can do for our quads. You're going to be sitting here. You're going to bring your leg, your foot behind you, and you're just going to lean back. And you should feel a stretch. And oftentimes when I would do these stretches with the kids in person, they would say, Coach Jackson, I don't feel anything. And I don't know if that just makes me old, but sometimes they simply won't feel anything because they're not sore. And this is going to be more beneficial to some uh, rather than others. And that's okay. You know, if you're not feeling stretches here, grab your muscle roller, Google some other stuff. Just make sure when you do it, you do it the right way. And if you guys have questions about stuff, just send me an email or a text. So you're going to go there, lean back, then you're going to switch legs. The whole time we're taking slow, deep breaths, controlling our heart rate. A uh, couple more we can do after that. It's called a Z-sit. It's a little more complicated, but I love this one for hips. So you're going to bring both your legs to the side like so. You should have your right foot right in line with the center of your body. Left foot just kind of hanging out over there. Now have your knees flat to the ground and you're going to lean towards your right side. So when we have our right foot in the middle of our body, we're going to lean towards the right side and feel free to walk yourself around until you feel that perfect stretch. Gonna go all the way behind, all the way this way, whatever you gotta do to feel a stretch in the hips. Then you can switch. So when we're doing our left side, left foot is gonna be right in line with the center of your body. Right foot's gonna kind of be hanging out here, both of our knees pushed into the floor. And you're gonna lean, feel that stretch. Take about, you know, 45 seconds with this one. Kind of try different positions because depending on where you're leaning, whether it's over here, center, or the left side, you're going to stretch different parts of your body. Final stretch I'd like to go over with you guys tonight is um, a simpler version of the pretzel stretch. So you're going to bring one leg up and over. You're going to try and push that right knee into the ground and have your shoulders flat to the floor. So you want your leg, in this case my right leg, is over my left leg. I want my right knee pushed into the floor and both of my shoulders as flat on the ground as possible. And you're just gonna lay. Working on that nice deep breathing. <sighs> Slowing down that heart rate. Nothing too crazy. And then after that, you're going to switch and do the other side. Um, probably by the second workout for this week, or possibly next week, I will start demonstrating some of the shoulder stretches and movements that I sent out probably about three months ago now. If anybody missed that email or would like me to resend it, just let me know. I'll get it over to you guys. But when you guys do the workout, just make sure... You're doing it the right way. Do it safe. I don't want anyone to get hurt. So being sore is okay and encouraged. Um, again, any questions, let me know. Thank you.